Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number 11, Die Head Threading. This is a self-opening die head used to cut threads on the outside diameters of parts made on the Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine. This television training tape will show you the correct procedure for mounting and adjusting the die head. It will help you to be a better operator of the Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine if you understand how the die head works. When the die head is closed, it acts like a normal thread cutting die. These are the chasers. The chasers are cutting tools that are mounted in the die head. Different chasers are used for each size and type of thread required. The die head will open once the proper length of thread has been cut on the part. The opening of the die head stops the cutting action and allows the die head to be withdrawn over the newly cut threads. The die head is closed again as the turret indexes. It is then ready to cut the next part. The opening of the die head occurs when the chasers pull themselves forward as they cut the thread. Just prior to the correct length of thread being reached, the turret stops moving forward. The continued pulling action of the head causes the die head to open. The cutting of threads requires lower spindle speeds than other cutting tasks. Trip dogs will be set to slow the spindle speed during the thread cutting portion of the machine cycle. Preliminary setup of the die head can be accomplished on a bench surface. Once you have selected the proper chasers for the part to be produced, you can mount them into the die head. With the head in the open position, pull the knob on the side of the head. With the knob pulled, you can rotate the head further to permit you to mount the chasers. The chasers and die head have imprinted numbers from 1 to 4. Be sure to place each chaser in the correct slot in the die head. Repeat this procedure until all the chasers have been installed. To lock the chasers in place, move the trip lever until the knob drops into place. You can now adjust the die head for the proper chaser setting. To do this, close the die head and screw a sample of the part to be produced into the die head. There are two set screws that will adjust the chasers. The screw nearest the S will bring the chasers closer together when tightened. The screw nearest the L will move the chasers apart when tightened. The scale will enable you to make small adjustments once you begin to cut parts. To adjust the chasers into the part, first loosen the L set screw. Then tighten the S screw. Continue until the part is snug in the chasers. Tighten the L set screw once you have completed the adjustment, then open the die head and remove the part. The die head can now be inserted into the turret far enough so it will not contact the part during a normal cycle. Run the machine until the die head is indexed into position. Set the trip dock to slow down the spindle while in this position. This is the spindle speed and reversing dog carrier for the number two model machine. The double aught dog carrier is located here. Loosen the two centering bolts on either side of the die head. This will allow the movement needed to center the die head into the part. The die head should be open at this time.
Start the machine and stop it at the low point of the threading lobe. Then close the die head. Advance the turret by hand and center the die head on the part. Tighten both centering bolts securely. Loosen the turret clamp bolt and move the die head close to the part and retighten the clamp. Start the machine and run the part. Always start below the required thread length on the part and work up to the correct dimension. If the die head is positioned too close at first, the chasers could bottom out on the part before the head has been pulled enough ahead to cause it to pop open. This will damage the chasers and the die head. Be sure to set another trip dog to cause the spindle to return the high speed at the end of the threading lobe. Close the die head by hand each time so that it will cut the next part. Check the part in a thread gauge. Once the correct thread length is set, you must set the die head closer. Stop the machine as the die head approaches the closer. Be sure the closer does not interfere with any other turret tools. Very little pressure is needed to close the head when the die head trip rod contacts the closer. Too much pressure can damage the die head and misalign the head with the workpiece. Run the machine through a cycle. Be sure the head closes and remains closed during indexing. This completes your television training tape on die head threading. You may watch this tape as many times as you need. Return to the operator booklet for your next step when you are finished.